So here we go, I am back with the best tactics on FM24 and I'm back with a very good tactic called Cerebro and I found this on Delicious channel. In the description below will be Delicious details. Please go show them some love. It's a very good looking tactic and I like the fact we've got some wingers for a change rather than some inside forwards on inverted wingers. We've got some wingers on support. If you could do me the biggest favor, leave a like on this video and if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel. We've got so many more tactics coming your way and maybe if I can get my finger out, some rebuilds. I'm wearing the Argentina shirt. I'm not too sure if you're allowed to wear another national team shirt, but I really, to be fair, I do wear the retro ones. I really love this football shirt. It's a really nice fit. It's a really nice feel. If you want some cheap football kits, in the description below, Kit MM or JD Sports 44. Both amazing. Right, enough talking about football kits in the description below. Let's look at this tactic and let's check out the results. Well, it's a dream start being Arsenal in the Community Shield to take penalties and win all the way in the Carabao Cup, beat Liverpool in the semi-final. And then it's Middlesbrough where we thrashed them 4-0. And in the FA Cup, we went on to pick this up as well. We beat Arsenal in the quarter-final, which was our hardest test. And in the final, it was Everton where we beat them 2-0. We also managed to pick up the Super Cup, beating Sevilla 3-0. And in our Champions League group stages, we didn't lose a single game. We won five, we drew one, we finished with 16 points. Then in the knockout rounds, we knocked out Porto, but we couldn't beat Man United in the quarterfinal. We beat them 1-0 at home, lost 2-0 away from home, losing 2-1 on aggregate. In the Premier League, though, it's done very well. We won 31 out of 38 games. We drew four. We lost three. We scored 109 goals, but defensively, very strong. We only conceded 23 goals. We got a goal difference of 86 and a really good point tally of 97. So now let's check out their player stats. Haaland, 56 goals. Kevin De Bruyne with 26. Doku with 17. Rodri getting 13 goals, having a very good season. Kevin De Bruyne with the most assists with 24. Nunes with 21. Average rating wise, the best performer, a very good average rating as well, was Haaland with a 7.72. A lot of players in green and clean sheets. Is this the most we've ever seen? 38 clean sheets. So let's check out their team stats. Most points per game are 2.55, which is very good. Most goals, 109. Villas scored 103 team goals. That's unbelievable. Most shots for top here was 735. Fewer shots against, we're in first place here with 207. Most possession, we're not on there, could have skipped it. Most rules made, we are top here though with 834. Most clean sheets, like I said, defensively, this tactic's so, so strong. 21 clean sheets, viewers conceded. We only conceded 23 for the season, 23 goals. Absolutely phenomenal. A really, really good season, 97 points. Just looking at the top four. Liverpool, Arsenal and Villa and Tottenham in fifth place. Uh, Villa doing very well, 79 points. It's a good points tally for Villa. That's it with Man City. We've got two more teams to go, so let's check out the result. So it's Brighton's turn now and in the Cabo Cup, we knocked out Coventry 1-0, but then it's Man City in the fourth round, away from home as well at the Etihad. We lost 1-0. And in the FA Cup, well, it's Man City again knocking us out, but this time it's in the semi-final and it's 3-1. On to their Europa League, where this is a pretty tough group of sports and the PSV and Panathinaikos. We won four, we drew one, we only lost one game. We finished with 13 points. In the knockout rounds, we beat Celtic by Leverkusen, the current German champions. And then it's Arsenal. We beat them 1-0 at the Emirates, but we took back to our place and lost 3-1, losing 3-2 on aggregate. And in the league, it's a good eighth place finish. We won 18, we drew seven, we lost 13, we scored 59 goals. Defensively, not as strong as Main City, but still not too bad. We only conceded 43. We got a goal difference of 16 and a points tally of 61. On to their player stats now. And Anzu Fatty's their type goal scorer, 14 goals. Matoma having a good season with 11. Assist wise, Grosh with 12. March with 10. Best performer. No one in green, but it is Lamberty with a 6.99. A few of a 6.99. Even Matoma with a 6.99. So disappointing they've got no one in green, but it was a good season. Eighth place finish with Brighton. We've seen a lot worse. In clean sheets, we've got 15. On to their team stats now. We're in eighth place with a 1.61. And I must have missed the fact that Villa won the league with a points per game of 2.26. Absolutely mental. We're not on most goals or most shots for... So going forward, you're not going to score 
that many goals with uh, Brighton, but defensively still again very strong. We're in sixth place here, fewer shots against with 338. Most tackles won. We're in second place here with 925. Most dribbles made, third place here, 715. And fewest conceded. We're in seventh place here. We've conceded 43 for the season, which is not bad at all with Brighton. And Villa did win the league with 86 points. Madden. So, so far, so good. And now it's Luton's turn. And what can they do? When they cut back up, they can get knocked out in the third round against West Brom 2-1. And in the FA Cup, they went all the way to pick this up. Beating Norwich, QPR, Plymouth, Fulham, Chelsea. And I think really Chelsea is the toughest team they faced. Took extra time, beat them 2-1. Then it's Sheffield United in the final where we beat them 2-0. Ross Barkley with a couple of goals. On to the Premier League now. And we're going to be playing in Europe next season because of that FA Cup win. But in the league, 12th place, we won 13, drew 7, lost 18, scored 49 goals, but we conceded 61. We got a minus 12 goal difference and a points tally of 46. So now let's check out their player stats and Jacob Brown's their top goal scorer with 16 goals. Assists are coming from Ogben with 6, Ross Barkley with 5 and their best performer is Nakamba with a 6.96. Again, no one in green. Uh, clean sheets though, we do have 13. On to their team stats, viewers conceded. We're in 5th place here with 326. And most tackles won seventh place here with 910. So defensively, again, pretty strong, but I'm really pleased about this. Luton winning the FA Cup. We won't talk about the easy running. 46 points is okay, but don't forget season preview the finish 20th, but get relegated in 12th place in the league is a good finish. And picking up a trophy, as in the FA Cup, going to be playing in Europe next season. That for me a good season with Luton. So let me add the points and see what comes in the tag testing league. So Cerebo comes in at the number. Well, sadly, it doesn't make it onto the leaderboard in the top 20. I really wanted to show this tactic off though, because it's such a good tactic in Man City with so many clean sheets and won a trophy with Luton. Defensively, a very strong tactic and a tactic I really like to look of. So I really do think it's a tactic you should try out. And if you do, let me know how you get on with it but sadly couldn't make it into the top 20. It won 62, drew 18, lost 13, scored 217 goals, conceded 127, had a goal difference of 90, and a points tally of 204. A very good tactic. If you need the instructions, carry on watching the video because I'm about to run over it, but if you're leaving me here, thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. So, in goal, we've got a sweeper keeper on defend. On the left-hand side, we've got a full back on support. On the right hand side, we've got a wing back on support. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a defensive midfielder on support. In front of him, we've got a central midfielder on attack. That's the left hand side one. That's the right hand side one. Same instructions, move into the channels and tackle harder. And out on the wide, we've got a winger on support. And this is the right hand side one. Same instructions again. Take more risks. Cross from the byline. Run with the ball. Get further forward and tackle harder. And up front, we've got advanced forward attack. Tackle style is basically a custom one. Just copy everything here. Mentality balanced. In possession. Attacking width. Narrow. Passing the space. Focus down the left. Focus down the right. Passing at the shorter. Tempo higher. Time wasting never. Low crosses. Run defense. Be more disciplined. In transition, what do we have? We've got a counter press, counter, dispute quickly, roller out, out of possession, high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line. Trigger press much more often, prevent short goal distribution, get stuck in, step up more and invite crosses. And that is your lot. Like I said, I really wanted to show this tactic off because I was impressed with the clean sheets. Luton winning the trophy and I just felt that this was a very good tactic maybe Luton's points let this tactic down a little bit but definitely try it out and let me know how you got on it thank you so much for watching my videos I do really appreciate it and if you can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done already that would be amazing I'm going to be doing giveaways every month now until the new game gets released and I might continue it as well I don't know but yeah so at the moment in time we've got the August giveaway going about so please 
enter that. Good luck if you have done already. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you then.